Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's afternoon Bible study and devotional. Today, we are going to be jumping into Psalm 114. That's right, Psalm 114. But before we get to that, let's take a second and reflect on what we read last time with Psalm 113. Psalm 113 was this nice little condensed psalm uh, that basically is saying, like, God is, you know, everywhere. There's nothing above God, and he can do the impossible. What's impossible with us is possible through him. Um, as kind of reflecting and rereading it, that's what kind of jumped out to me with Psalm 113. Um, and yeah, it's true, man. Like, you can't outrun God like Jonah tried to do. There is no one above him, no one on earth that is above God, no one outside of earth that is above God. Um, and things that we think are impossible, whether that's, you know, the poor uh, and the commoner, um, you know, eating with the priests uh, or with the princes or, you know, someone that can't have a child having a child. What's impossible with us uh, financially or just straight up needs a miracle, God can do. And he is good. Praise the Lord. All right, so now as we head into Psalm 114, I invite you to open up your Bibles and read along with me. Uh, BibleGateway.com, the Bible app, two great resources. Um, but I like me a physical Bible. If you don't have a physical Bible and you'd like one, send me a private message, and I'll love to try to hook you up with one. It'd probably be one of these exact ones, maybe even this exact Bible. Um, I... I, I, I filter through my Bibles quite frequently because I like to hand them out. This one doesn't have any markings uh, for me in it yet. Uh, but yeah, without any further ado, let's jump into Psalm 114. Oh, yeah, wait, sorry. And I'm reading out of the New Living Translation. I'm going to take a sip of coffee as well. <clears throat> when... The Israelites escaped from Egypt. When the family of Jacob left that foreign land, the land of Judah became God's sanctuary, and Israel became, became his kingdom. The Red Sea saw them coming and hurried out of their way. The water of the Jordan River turned away. The mountains skipped like rams, the hills like lambs. What's wrong? The Red Sea that made you hurry out of their way. What happened to the Jordan River that turned away? Why, mountains, did you skip like rams? Why, hills like lambs? Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. He turned rock into a pool of water. Yes, a spring of water flowed from a solid rock. May God add a blessing to the reading of Psalm one. 14. Um, hmm. uh, this is kind of interesting. The Red Sea saw them coming and hurried out of the way. Um, just the, the imagery here and the retelling of, um, you know, the story of when the Egyptians uh, escaped from or when Israel escaped from Egypt, uh, the whole let my people go and Moses and all that jazz. And it was just like, God carved that way for them. Why did all these things happen? Because God willed it so. He made it happen. He demanded that it happened. And people got out the way. Um, the, the mountains got out of the way. The sea got out of the way. Things that like we would struggle to even comprehend how to do you know, all these thousands of years later with our best technologies, we couldn't recreate what God has done. Um, we can do it in small amounts, but not like that. We can't create water out of rock. We can't, you know, just cause a red seed to part and then like dry. So they, their wheels and everything wouldn't get stuck. Uh, though, you know, we might be able to move a mountain by blowing it up, destroying it and trying to rebuild it. Um, but God just created these pathways for them. Um, all of nature works as in to God's will. And God can do 
amazing and miraculous things. Things that we think are impossible, God can and has and will do. Let's pray. AJC, awesome Jesus Christ, I thank you that all of nature works together for your glory. That you are the, the, the commander and the author of this world. That you invite us not only to live in it, but to look after it. That you invite us uh, to be a part of it. And that, you know, so many things we think and say are impossible. But nothing is impossible with you. You can do all things. And to have this as that back-to-back -back kind of boom, hammering that home, Lord. When we feel like it, life is impossible. When we feel like this task that you have called us to do is impossible. Let us instead double, instead of doubling down on the impossible, help us to double down on you. Whatever that needs to look like. And give us wisdom and um, discernment to know when it's us that we're doubling down on and not you. May you get all the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome, guys, thank you very much. But you know it's Double Dip Tuesday. So I'll be back in just a few moments with chapter 115. But for now, goodbye and God bless.